And if you've already had COVID-19, your natural immunity may not be strong enough to fight this new variant. It's another reason people are being urged to get vaccinated. New reports from South Africa warning that the natural antibodies of recovered COVID patients aren't holding up so well if they've now contracted the Omicron variant. Scientists now trying to figure out if vaccines face the same challenge of stopping infection. Well, hang on, if those natural antibodies are not binding very well, what about the vaccine antibodies that are targeting the same place? Are they also diminished because of the mutations. The medical community is hoping history repeats itself, but won't know for at least several weeks. We haven't really seen a variant yet that has been a serious problem for our vaccines, and we're hoping that won't be the case with Omicron. Um, but again, because there are so many additional mutations, we just have to wait uh, to get those answers. As for early indications that Omicron symptoms are mostly mild, those patients have typically been younger, the same age bracket of those who don't typically get very sick. It's only when you get to really analyze a variant like this over many more thousands of infections and look at the way it impacts hospitalization, look at the way severe cases take place, uh, that I think we'll learn how to address the question of severity. Which brings us back to why doctors say to get vaccinated and boosted, whether you've had COVID or not. In the majority of cases, the uh, immunity, the natural immunity that's provided by infection is not very strong. And in fact, what we know is that it's far weaker than the immunity that the vaccines give you. And you know, there are plenty of vaccines out oh, yeah. there, plenty of boosters, so there's still time to do it. Just get it done. I got mine yesterday or the day before. I can't remember, but yeah. there were plenty, plenty of times still available. So good stuff there, Russ.